Hey guys, so this is going to be Jackson's favorite, Jackson and mommy's favorite things from his fourth and fifth month of life. He just turned six months, so I thought it'd be good now to tell you guys what he enjoyed when he was four and five months. So some of the big things that I can't obviously bring in the room in this video, but I will insert some links up in the cards and down below. Um, for videos these things are in. The first thing would be his high chair. We got that from Bye Bye Baby and it is in the haul video from um, stuff we went and bought after our showers that we had left to buy with gift cards and stuff that was left on our registry. So the high chair is in there. The thing I like about it is it is so easy to clean. Like there's no cloth. It, you can wipe down everything. You can take everything apart. It is the easiest high chair ever to clean. Aside from probably the Ikea high chairs that are just plain plastic. And you know what? Like honestly, Jackson loves the Ikea high chairs. Whenever we eat there, he really, really likes them. But um, I like his high chair personally because it will grow with him into the toddler stage. It becomes a booster seat. It does all sorts of things. And you guys can see that high chair in the video that I linked in the cards. Um, I'll also try to remember to leave a link down below. The next thing that is too big to bring in here is his Snugga Puppy, I think it's the Snugga Puppy Swing from Fisher Price. Um, he really didn't have a lot of, it, like he didn't like being in, in it very long when he was like a newborn. And up until about three months, he just, he would be in it for a while and he would tolerate it. I would say he'll tolerate it while I pumped. Um, and then right at the three month mark, um, towards the end of three months. That's why it's not in the other video that I did for two to three months um, In like close to four months all of a sudden he became obsessed with his swing He will swing all day if you let him of course I don't let him because it's not good for them to be stationary that long um, I don't think he would be doing half the physical things he does early if I just like left him in the swing and stuff but I do let him you know swing in there because he enjoys it and he really really likes it now sometimes he'll nap in there like he just all of a sudden went from being like I tolerate this for small amounts of times to I'm obsessed with this so that is an obsession he has he still loves it so he's getting close I don't remember what the limit is on that I want to say it was like 28 or 30 pounds he's getting close to the limit on that but he just enjoys it so much one thing I will say about it is it comes with harness straps um, and they have not ever since he got to like the two month mark he's just I don't know they just don't fit him right but I feel like a five point harness is a little excessive because the clips and stuff are supposed to go up here on their chest it is like super excessive for this swing like it's it's a bit much like I do the lap belt and obviously I don't walk out of the room with him in there but um, the lap belt is more than enough safety even with him moving and stuff but yeah the five point harness is a bit excessive he hated that in the beginning and um, now he just it doesn't even fit him that well and he's still in the weight range that is supposed to be for the swing so that that would be my only complaint is their five point harness system isn't very good but i feel that the lap part of it is safe and secure enough he can't go anywhere so one thing i've been forgetting to bring up in these videos is his oh his outlet monitor so um i financed this through outlet because they are kind of pricey and it ends up being like 20 dollars a month to make a payment on it um so yeah we um we got this outlet because the insurance would not cover the um, breathing monitor he needed. I don't remember what it's called. It was like a pulse ox monitor that he needed for when he stops breathing at night because of his GERD. They said that that wasn't a reason to cover one. Apparently, like stop like a baby stop breathing at night to me like should be a reason to cover it regardless of the medical condition causing it. But anyway, so. Um, we ended up getting this and it's given me a lot of, a lot of, a lot of peace of mind. He has never stopped breathing, like had an episode that went on a really long time and I've had to flick his feet and make him breathe again while wearing the salette. So, um, it's always happened like at random times or I've noticed it before the point of the outlet picking up his pulse or his oxygen dropping. So I can't say we've had a red alert on this, but he hasn't really had a reason to have a red alert on it. But um, a blue alert happens sometimes when you, see the blue alert is when you go out of range of the home station. And there's also an app 
that you can use for this. Um, and let's see, it's not plugged in right now, so it's not going to show you anything. But see, there is an Owl, an Owl app. So, <clears throat> and that's where you can get the readings. But even if you don't have the app running, I take this to my dad's house when he's slept over there. Not like overnight, but like for when he's napping and stuff. Um, and the home base is all you really need because um, it will send the alarm. The app only shows you what the numbers are and stuff and it also sends the alarm to your app so even if you like like um don't have the app connected you can still use this this will still alert you red is basically the only alert you need to worry about yellow means the sock fell off or it's having difficulty getting a reading which usually is because the sock came off um and blue is you've gone out of distance or something's blocking the wi-fi <clears throat> now before i bought this a lot of people complained that um their outlets gave them a lot of false alarms it caused more more stress than it was help i haven't found that at all we've literally never gotten a false alarm and now we have um we have had it for i want to say like four months now like yeah never never an alarm so the outlet is definitely a mommy favorite of mine so <clears throat> another i'm just going to go to another mommy favorite this is the Dot Terra. I hope I'm saying that right. Dope Terra, Dot Terra. Um, I usually use Now Essential Oils, but I went ahead and bought the um, Dot, Dot Terra one recently from uh, one of my friends um, because I want to. I wanted to use the um, on Jackson. I want to use like a not that the Now Essential Oils because I use those in creams and stuff I make for myself. But because this is like therapeutic grade, like edible basically, I felt better about putting this in stuff that goes on Jackson. So um, I bought this to make some stuff for him, but I've also been diffusing it because I ran out of my now lavender diffuser. Um, and he's really been enjoying this and so have I. It's helped calm him a lot and stuff. So that's a favorite for me for the diffuser. <clears throat> I like to diffuse a lot of different things, but for nap time, um, I diffuse lavender for him. So, okay, what next? <laughs> okay, <clears throat> let's go to some feeding things. And there is dog hair on this from the floor where I had it sitting. Lovely. Okay, so this is the Boone. Oh, just, that's one shitty thing about silicone is it grabs onto everything. So we'll have to run this back through the cleaning. Okay, so this is the Boone. This is really bothering me. I sat on the floor where the dogs had just been and like every tiny hair clung to it. Um, I don't remember what exactly it's called. It's like a Boone self-feeder. Um, basically, ooh, this is really hard to do. I mean, obviously, because you don't want your kid being able to open it. But um, basically, you can put stuff in here like when they're learning to eat or once they can eat solids, um, I've put peas, carrots, it's kind of stained from the, uh, cause his baby food is all made by me fresh. So stuff like carrots and stuff like that are going to stain a lot more than like jarred baby food. But, um, yeah, this one has stained cause we've used it a lot, but it's clean. Um, so you put the stuff in there like this and they can feed themselves and suck on it and chew it. It's kind of like a tea there too. You can put some frozen stuff in here. I've put in like really cold bananas for him and stuff and it's got tons of tiny holes um, where the stuff comes out. I prefer this so much more than that like one that has the net. We also have the one that has the net and has like the part you hold like this and he does not really like it. Um, he tolerates it but he doesn't chew on it very long. I don't like it because it's so hard to clean. I thought I'd really like it, but I think once he can have more berry stuff, like um, when he's a little a little bigger, I'll give him more kinds of berries. I think frozen berries will be easier to clean in that, and he might like it then. So I'm gonna retry it. But for now, like putting bananas and stuff he eats in there, um, mm -mm, he does not like it, and I don't like how hard it is to clean. Um, bananas are really hard to clean out of it. So this has been our favorite. <clears throat> and then recently, excuse me, I went and bought this. And this is from Munchkin. So this is just the thing that covers it. I kind of wish that, that's one thing I wish, I wish the Boone thing had something to cover it um, 
to keep it from getting gross. This is wet because I just washed it. He just used it tonight. So this one's a little different. Obviously it has a handle. It comes with a cover. Um, and, uh, okay. And you open it like that. You put the stuff in here. And it's very similar to a giant pacifier. He can put this in his mouth more easily. And he's so funny. Tonight I put the yogurt. I made him coconut milk yogurt with fresh fruit. Um, and he... I put it in here and he just like while we were eating was just sucking it out. I kept having to refill it. This does not have holes all around it. It does have like bumpy stuff for them to gum on. You can also put frozen stuff in here too. I think I'm gonna try some frozen watermelon soon. Um, but it's kind of bumpy for them to gum on for teething. Where this stuff comes out at is, I don't know if it's gonna show. See that hole there? Uh, focus on this, not me. Okay, there's like a hole at the end, and that is where the food actually comes from, and he really enjoys this one too. <clears throat> so I would really recommend that. I'm so sorry if I'm clearing my throat through this video, you guys. I don't know, like, of course the day I plan to record, I have terrible, terrible allergies. So, okay, another teething thing he really enjoys is, God, this is dog hair all over, oh my God, this is dog hair all over it too. <laughs> Is this teething teether the raspberry? I'm gonna clean in here after I film. Um, this is the teething raspberry. It kind of again looks like a pacifier. And when I first got it for him, when he first turned around four months, it was so funny because he just put it in his mouth like a pacifier. I was like, dude, that is not a pacifier. And it's funny because it's so bulbous and big, but he was sucking on it like a pacifier. But no, he really loves this to chew. He'll chew on this part. He'll chew on the raspberry part that's bumpy. This part, we actually have two of these, one for the diaper bag and one that stays in his playroom. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going with the teething kind of stuff. Um, okay, so of course we have a Sophie. This Sophie does not squeak. I actually bought this before we even started trying to get pregnant, which would have to be like five or six years ago because we were we had dealt with infertility for three and a half years and I was pregnant with him for nine months, so a really long ass time ago I bought this Sophie because when Sophie first came out, when I was like way back when I was in school, I, it was like 10 years ago when I was in college um, and I worked at a <clears throat> daycare, um, the parents would tell me about this giraffe that was new and it was from Paris and it was like, or it was French and it cost, back in the day, this thing cost $40. It was like uh, probably 10, over 10 years ago. Um, <clears throat> so when I saw Sophie in this little boutique for $2, and she had her box and everything, they were just selling her because um, she came defective, like the squeaker didn't work, I bought her. And I kept her all these years, and now he has a $2 Sophie. So little backstory there. Um, <clears throat> this is the Infantino kind of knockoff Sophie the Giraffe line. This is the elephant. They also have a monkey and a zebra, and I actually am going to get those for him. Sophie's texture is different. There is a difference. He does prefer Sophie the most. There's just something different about her, but the Infantino ones squeak as well. There's just something different about Sophie. Like, she just feels different, softer in a way, um, but he does enjoy these. So this is the elephant. I want to get him the monkey and the did I say giraffe? I, no, Sophie's a giraffe. It's a zebra and a monkey I've seen for sure. So I want to get him those. Um, this is off, so by Infantino. This is closer to the texture of Sophie, actually. This feels more like Sophie. And this is just like a lion teether, and it's like filled with air. He really, really likes this. I got this at Target. Um, I also got this at Target, too. And he just like uh, gums on it like, I don't know. It's, he likes it a lot. It's very similar to Sophie texture wise. Okay. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Let's just keep rolling with the teething stuff because four months is when it really started getting, like three months he started like nomming on stuff. But four months is when it really actually, I'm gonna go with one of his absolute favorite things. Sorry, I have my diaper bag here for my next video, which will be what's in my diaper bag. I said that really funny, diaper bag. Um, where are you? His munch mitt is like his favorite thing in the world. Um, so the munch mitt, this thing, 
I wish I had had literally from probably two months old. He probably would have done good using it. Like he loves the munch mitt. I promise I cleaned my house. I don't know why all this dog hair is on the floor in here. I think the dogs were in here and they snuck in here earlier when they weren't supposed to be. Um, so it crinkles, like it's crinkly and interesting and the sensory experience in that way. But you put their little, I think you guys probably seen this in the vlog, you put their little hand in it and they just, ah. And he is obsessed with this thing. This and his O-ball thing are like a lifesaver all the doctor's appointments I've had to have. And it's so funny because everyone that ever sees it is like, what is that? Because they see him just like, ah, and just going crazy. And I actually had like one nurse at um, my surgeon's office that was asking like, where do I buy that? I wanna buy that for my granddaughter. So he loves his munchment. So that's another teething thing. Then we have moved on to teething biscuits right at the end of five months. Um, a lot of my friends started on this, the Happy Baby Teethers, the organ they're organic, um, and the sweet potato and banana. They dissolve really easily. You guys, <laughs> I'm trying to remember <clears throat> what I was telling Justin. It reminds me of communion, if any of you guys are Catholic. It reminds me of a communion wafer, like when you bite into it, but then it melts fast like cotton candy. It's like a sweet communion wafer that melts fast like cotton candy. Um, so the first time I gave this to him, I freaked out because these are very, 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 very thin. Um, and you get two in a package. I can't see if I have any in here to show you guys. I only have the, the Plum Organics ones. These are really thin. I don't know if you can see on the wrapper. <clears throat> Um, and so a lot of my friends' babies started out with this and they would just suck on it and stuff. And then as they got a little bit bigger, my friends freaked out because all of a sudden they start breaking it off. They got scared they were going to choke. But that was like as they got a little bigger. Jackson, from the get-go, I gave it to him and ah, just, ugh. So it freaked me out. So I broke these in tiny little pieces until recently. I'll get into that in a second. Um... So I moved from that to these Plum Organic Little Yums um, Pumpkin and Banana uh, Teething Biscuits. These are, look at this, I'm almost out, oh my god, I need to go to Whole Foods. Um, so they look like this. You get three in a package with these. Um, and the, let me see if there's one that's in here from this diaper bag that's <clears throat> open. Yeah. Okay, this is what these look like. And it is a lot harder, a lot harder. And um, he really can gum on it really, really good because he doesn't have any teeth. He can gum on it really, really good and not break it. And once it gets really, really soft, it still like hangs on. So at first I would take it out of his mouth when like bigger pieces would get soft and break off in there. But now that he's a little bigger, he's learned to chew stuff until it's smaller and he swallows it. So I have now started giving him these whole again because um, he doesn't try to swallow the whole thing. He's learned to chew. And of course, I always am right there when he's eating these, you guys. I would never give him one of these and like turn my back. So um, <clears throat> those are some of our favorites for little teething biscuits. Um, we're almost through. So... Let's do toys now. Well, actually, let's move on to his sleep suit because he's going to need this in a few minutes. Um, this is, needs to be washed because at nap time he spit up on it. <clears throat> this is the Merlin, baby, baby Merlin's magic sleep suit. You guys, this thing saved our life. Like seriously saved our life. Um, he was born early, uh, three weeks early. He wasn't technically premature. He tried to come at 35 weeks. Um, you guys have been following us for a while and know this, but I get a lot of new subscribers. So he tried to come at 35 weeks because of my preeclampsia. And I was able to keep him in two more weeks with bed rest, monitoring, hospitalization. Um, and they had to take him right at, we made it right to 37 weeks. And they said, okay, we have to take him. Like this is the longest we can go. So what they've been referring to as late premature um, because some, it's like three weeks early is still pretty early. It's not as early as five weeks or six weeks, but it's still what they would consider now. They consider it late premature, um, even though they could, some people say that's full term. Um, so babies like him that are born early sometimes have uh, really bad separation anxiety from birth. He had it bad. Like he wouldn't sleep unless he was on me or touching me. 
um, it was really, really bad when he was born. Um, and he had a lot of health problems. So swaddling became something he just loved. And our pediatrician said that's very normal for babies that are born early. They really, really love their swaddles. So you guys seen my other videos we had, um, in my daily vlogs, we had the Swaddle Me pods that zipped up. And then I moved to the Swaddle Me swaddlers that um, had the Velcro, the normal size ones, once he got out of his preemie stage and newbornish stage. Because um, he started out wearing preemie clothes for a really long time, like the first six weeks. And then I think six, seven weeks, and then he moved to newborn stuff. And he stayed in that pod for a long time. He was in the other swaddle stuff for a shorter amount of time because once they can roll from their back to their front, um, they can no longer be swaddled for safety reasons. So he started rolling right at the end of three months from his back to his front. So we couldn't swaddle him anymore. I tried all the methods of gently unswaddling them one one arm for a few nights another arm for another few nights just swaddled their bottoms i tried it all i tried sleep sacks it didn't work he would thrash around crazy like crazy his moro reflex the um <clears throat> reflex that's called the startle reflex took a really long time to go away so i found this online and i gave it a try it was kind of expensive but it was worth every penny because it worked a lot of people buy this to try to prolong their sleep. I just needed him to sleep because he would not sleep unswaddled. Um, and this thing was truly a lifesaver. It's about 40 bucks on Amazon. This is size three to six months. He's six months now. When we first got it, his little legs, like you couldn't see them. And now his legs come out the leg here. Um, so we might have to go a size up because recently I talked to his pediatrician because I've tried to take him out of it at night and he wakes up a lot more you can tell he just does like he just still wants to be comforted by this and he's not thrashing around won't go to sleep anymore so that startle reflux kind of went down in a way but it's just like he does not sleep good without something like this and he does like flail in the middle of the night and wake himself up and slap himself and stuff and the pediatrician said it's totally normal again because he was born early he really liked his swaddling and she said some babies just really like swaddling even once they're bigger they need that security so i'm thinking of buying the size up in it but this thing was a lifesaver if your baby hates swaddling but you still want them to be kind of secure i would like if they're younger i would totally suggest this um, if we have another baby i might try this from like earlier on after they transition out of the pods so i'm going to share that with you guys this thing is amazing like it totally is and it's really not it's not as hot looking we got the cotton one because a lot of people are like isn't he hot in that he looks like the michelin man um he does not get hot in it we have air conditioning and i keep it on 70 at night and he wears footed pajamas and he's fine um he doesn't get hot we got the cotton one it is fluffy like there's a lot of layers but it's not like they have a fleece one too that one probably would get hot but this doesn't um, but if you don't have air conditioning, you live in a hotter climate, I, I, I don't know what it would be like, but yeah. <clears throat> so then we have his Maraca from Bye Bye Baby. We just saw this one day at checkout and I got it for him and he's obsessed with it. He likes to shake it. He likes to go like this and try to shove it in his mouth, even though he can't, it doesn't fit in his mouth. He doesn't stop trying. Um, and he likes to chew on this part. But he really, really likes this. And whenever he's like upset at the doctor or something, um, I always start with something else. And I save the munch mint and the maraca for last to be like, hey, if we're there for a long time. So he really loves his maraca. And it was like three bucks at Bye Bye Baby. Then <clears throat> his Winkle, I got this online. It's from the Manhattan Toy Company. It's like, I don't know, it just got a lot of little tubey things. And it's like, I don't know, like trying to describe it by biting on it. Like, eh. um, it's not hard as it looks. It's very like, I'm trying to think what I could compare it to. I don't know. It's not super soft, but it's not hard. It's just, he really likes it and it rattles and he can grab it all different ways, but he loves chewing on it. I just, I cannot think, I, I had something in my head of what to compare it to and now it just left me. That's why I bit it. I'm like, maybe this will help. Um, <laughs> didn't help, but yeah, he loves this thing. I think it was like, 
I got it for like $10.99 on Amazon, but I've seen it as much as like $16.99, but I found it on Amazon for $10.99. Okay, um, then he got this from Miss Irene, one of our YouTube family members, and it does that. This is what he's really been enjoying recently. So it does that, and he's been like, today he was like this, but he's been doing this for like a couple, well, a few weeks. He'll be like this. He'll just sit there and do this over and over, which is amazing for fine motor skills. Um, but it does this, but it also does this, and you can also spin the ball. It's just a really good fine motor skill toy. And he also chews on it because there's like bumpies. Um, and he shakes it. He loves this thing. And this is from England, I believe, from Mother Care. Walford, let me say Walford, England? Walford, England? Um, <clears throat> So yeah, he loves this thing. So that is one of Jackson's favorites. Um, I just think it's so cute that he's doing this now. I just really like this thing too because I feel like it is really great for fine motor skills. Um, okay, mommy favorite thing, boogie wipes. These are cruelty free, not tested on animals. So that's awesome. He gets snot and boogers so much. So it's like really, I have a giant one of these in my, oh, in his uh, dresser with his wipes and stuff to wipe his nose in the mornings and stuff. But like, you know, sometimes they get crusties, even if like we're at a restaurant and like I fed him and he's got food on his face or something and we're out and I give him like a teething cookie and he's got it on his face. Instead of using a wipe like for his butt, I use these on his face because it's just saline wipes. And I feel like that's less drying and irritating than if I used a wipe. So, okay. <clears throat> I recently got him several new toys to get him through to Christmas. And this is the one he really likes the most so far. So, it's not going to do this right now because I'm holding it. This thing spins. Let me see if I can. Yeah, oh. It basically spins around like this on the floor and they can chase it and stuff. And then they can press buttons and it does. Let's get through your little song. Okay, 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 stop. So it does that. This, it's got one of these. But mostly, and then it's got these little ribbons he grabs it by sometimes. And then sometimes he just likes stopping it and letting it make that clicking noise. <laughs> but anyways, it rolls around the floor like this. And it encourages them to kind of roll after it or try to crawl and stuff. And he just, he's really, really like that. Um, my best friend's son liked it. So when she said that he liked it in the store, I was like, okay, that I'm going to get him that one then. Um, <clears throat> this is like his bestie. This is Merc. He's from, apparently from a show called... Tomorrowland on the Disney. I know what Tomorrowland is like Disney World, but in Dis Disneyland, but Tomorrowland is a cartoon apparently on Disney Junior or the Disney Channel. Um, and this is like the little robot ostrich from it named Merc. So when I was in the Disney store getting Christmas presents for family members, I saw this in the bucket and the bucket for full of these said $1.99. Uh, so I was like, what? I don't know. Like, I didn't even know what it was. I didn't know if he'd like it, but it was a, like an interesting looking ostrich for two or one ninety nine. So I threw it in there, and um, I when I got to the grocery store, I'm like, is this really a dollar ninety nine? And I wish I had been thinking because I wish I had got my godson, my best friend's son, one. Um, but I was like, a dollar ninety nine, okay. So I didn't think he'd be that interested in it. I thought it would just be something fun to hi. He just walked past with Justin. To have like, I don't know, maybe when he's older or just when he's into stuffed animals. But he became obsessed with this thing. Like it, it's like really bendable and stuff. But he takes toys, like he's always taking his raspberry and trying to feed it to Merc. It's so cute. But he loves this thing. It makes him laugh and we need him to laugh in pictures. We go and he thinks it's hilarious. He is obsessed with this thing. So <clears throat> win for cheap toys usually it was like $19.99 or something 
I almost forgot his banana. His banana is one of his favorite things as well. It's up there with Sophie the giraffe. And I almost forgot the dang banana. And then I was doing what's in my diaper bag and I remembered, um, or I found the banana and I was like, oh no, I forgot the banana. I'm looking around at the stuff that came out of his diaper bag. Like, is there anything else mommy forgot? Okay. So yeah, he loves this banana. They make a corn one too, I saw in the store. It's like newer by the same company. It's got little bristles, like a toothbrush. So it also helps them like learn to start brushing their teeth or the feeling of brushing their teeth. This is the last thing. This is the Obal Stroller. Don't remember what the official name of this is, but um, you can buy this at Target or Toys R Us and I think I've seen it Bye Bye Baby. So you put these grippies on their stroller or their car seat when it's out of the car. Not when it's in the car. You should not put this on their car seat when it's in the car. You're not supposed to put anything on their car seat when it's like driving. So you spin these down and it grips on it and it's like a little play gym for their stroller or car seat. This thing has saved my life, guys. Um, you can also clip other things to it. Actually, this is supposed to be clipped up here. Um, you can also clip other things to it. I have my OCD, guys, sorry. I'm like, it's not clipped right. Okay, <clears throat> I have clipped other things to it. Um, his big O ball, just tons of stuff, his winkle, and he loves this thing. I'm telling you guys, at doctor's appointments, it has been a lifesaver because he's had to go to a lot of doctor's appointments with me and wait and like when they're ex when, when they're not examining me and stuff, I'll hold him and I'll play with him with toys and stuff from the diaper bag. But when I'm like being examined or like um, before my surgery and like post-op stuff or whenever I have to, you know, be on a table, getting blood pressure taken and stuff, this has been amazing. Um, so yeah, and when I had my C-section kept opening and they'd have to clean it out and like, this is like, oh, CMI, but when I had my C-section, I kept opening, and there was one time where my doctor, like, the last time where she had to clean it out really good where it opened, and she removed some, this sounds so bad, she removed some of the skin around it that was just gotten really soft. It wasn't dead or infected or anything like that. She just scraped it out to kind of cause blood flow and get it to heal faster, and it did work, but it was, oh, God, so painful but I was they were did it for like 20 minutes and this kept him so busy so <clears throat> that's been amazing that is it for his four to five month faves yeah is that right four to five month phase I will try to do his six month phase but I'm, I'm thinking at this point doing every couple months is what's going to work out for me anyways I'll see you guys in my next video bye